Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watcher of Realms video. It is 0856, Friday, February the 23rd, and it is account takeover time. We are back on my friend Nick's account. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a... Uh, well, bef actually, I lied. The first thing is not a gear cleanse. The first thing we're going to do is see if we can push some content in the gear raids, and then after that, we're going to do a gear cleanse. So gear raid... One, I think he's on 18 everywhere. So we want to see if we can do a 19 stage on any of these. See if we can get him into that end game gear. Yep, 18 all around. So let's see what he's got on the account. So we do have Lunaria, that's good. We've got Boreas. Okay. Uh, do we have. We don't have anyone with invisibility for the right side, so I'll need to use Edril to do that. So in order to do that, let's get, we've got Brienne, Kai, Vortex, let's get, let's get some Rage. Let's get some rage going. We might use Boreas, we might not. I don't know, we'll see. Do we have an Infernal Lord? We do, we've got Pyros, okay. And then Brienne and Kai. I don't know if Kai or Boreas. Hmm. I'm not sure which one of them. I've never used either of them for the left side, so we'll have to do a little experimenting with this. Who do we have for piercers again? Oh, we have a Laura. We do have a Laura for invisibility. Okay. We've got a 50 Theowen. Okay. There's no Rage on the team. Let's try it with Rage. Let's try that first. Oh, Laurel's not promoted. Let's see here, promotion. Okay, we would need to get materials. I'm gonna try it without Laurel first, and then if that's an issue, we'll come back and we'll get those promotion materials. Do we have an A1 Volca? We don't, we don't have any Volca. All right, never mind. I'm not gonna use Laurel. Let's get Hollow down for heals and rage. And then the last one on the board, I'll probably need a tank. Probably. We do have a max Oleg. Oleg works really well here. Let's see. Let's see how this does without gearing anything. Let's test it out first. Edril, Dolores. Okay.
let's get our tank on the board for the mobs. I need someone on that left side though. It's not looking good. I think I needed to put someone on the left side before before I placed Brook here. Let's see. Okay, I got the left side down. I don't know if Alora is going to be able to take care of that right side, though, being placed so late. Whoops. I don't know why I did that. I just wasn't paying attention. I'm going to place Lunaria for... Yeah, I need to get Alora a down sooner so that she can have her ult ready. Okay. Let's try this again just rearranging the timing of champs before I actually go to the gear. Brokeer down first, and then I'll save Hollow because Brokeer can take a hit and he can tank. Razak can take them down quickly. I'm going to put Alora to start building. Razak goes next to take care of the left side, and I still need to get Hollow on the board. I've got time though because Brook here is tanking really well. Okay. Now that I've got Alora's built, I use hers. Now I can start healing Brook here. I think Alora just needs to be built a little stronger because she did not take care of that right side. I think this team beats it though, as long as I build Alora better. Okay. While I'm there, I'll check out Setrum's gear to see if um, help him take the boss down a little bit quicker too. Okay. So we've got a team for it. We've got a team for it. Alora, we want her. Promotions give so much. We got a crit rate, crit damage, attack bonus, 2200 attack. I'm going to, let's see what we have. He does not have experience for her. Does he have, what does he have? We have 600 energy, okay. All right, I'm gonna use some of this. I'm gonna promote Alora. How much does she need? She needs the full, Two, she needs 210. Okay, I'm going to promote her. That'll give an extra 4, 7, 1,000 attack. Yeah, and then she'll be able to clear that right side and we can do 319. I'm going to do that. I'll speed up through this. Don't worry. So you don't have to watch it all. I'll come back once I have the promotion materials.
right, we are back. We are going to promote Alora and then clear 319 so that Nick can start farming end game DPS gear. That will be huge for his account. You really, really, really want to get 319 done as soon as possible. All right, big, big difference in stats. Promotions, promotions give a lot of stat boosts, guys. Promote your six star champs as soon as possible. Let's check our gear. All right, so we want more attack. We absolutely want more attack. Let's see if we can get her crit capped with attack bonus mains. All right, we are not going to use Morrigan for this. Let's see here. What do we have? What do we have? We might just need to leave that crit rate bangle. What are these? We've got attack bonus and crit damage. All right, we're not going to use Boreas in this 319 run. There we go. We'll take his good pieces there. And then let's get some more crit damage. What do we got? Crit rate attack bonus. Crit rate attack bonus. I don't know. Is she awakened one? No, she's not. At awakened one, excess crit rate gets becomes crit damage. She's not, so I don't need extra crit rate. What I want crit damage I bet See what we've got here. There we go. We'll just take Boreas's gear. There we go. That's much, much, much better. Let's put that on her, and then we'll check Setrum's gear to nuke down the boss faster. And then 319 will be in the books. I am sure of it. 10k, 300. Okay. Attack bonus with crit rate. Attack bonus with crit rate. Attack bonus with crit rate. We could probably get a little bit more crit rate there. He's not quite crit capped. Let's see if we can get a good crit damage piece with crit rate. Morgan, Alora, Morgan. Okay, that one's better. There we go. There we go. And then we needed still need a good crit rate on that. Good crit rate on that. So he got a little bit a little bit more crit rate. We'll just leave it there. Because he didn't need much. He's got Spirit Siphon. Okay. What does Alora have on her? Whoops. Get out of here. Get out of here. Come on. What is it? Come on with the pop ups. Alora, artifact, uh, increased crit damage. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. So that should be enough to knock this out. Three nineteen's a big boost for your for an account, so you want to clear three nineteen as fast as possible, so you you can start farming Infernal Roar and Soulbound Arcana sets. If you're struggling somewhere, ask questions, ask down in the comments, join the Discord server. Link will be in the description. Hit me up for a takeover if you want your own. I've got paid ones. I also do free ones all the time. Really, it's whatever you want. But getting into breaking into stage 19s, it makes a giant difference for an account.
There we go, just like we did last time. And I'm knocking this out at two times speed. We want Laura, Razak next. There we go. Alora's doing a, way more damage. Razak is strong enough to take out that left side. Get Hollow down. Have Alora ult on the right side. Cetrum ult on the boss. There we go. Right side is down. Alora's way stronger now. Way stronger. There we go. And that should be it. I just rinse, repeat that. And we'll be golden. We'll keep it on two times speed. Alora. Alora makes Gear Raid 3 so much easier. Cetrum didn't finish off the boss. Come on, come on. It's so close. Come on. Might need to get Cetrum just a little bit stronger. Oh, 1.5%. Oh, man. So close. So close. That's all right. Let's go back to Cetrum's gear. So close. Artifact. What's he got here? Yeah, we'll leave that. There we go. There we go. Give him another 100 attack. And I bet that does it, honestly. But let's get something right here. There we go. I bet that'll do it. Crit rate's 21. There we go. All right. Now we'll do it for sure. Now we'll do it for sure. That was close. So close, and yet so far. That is OK. That is an easy, easy adjustment. So we throw Edril down, Dolores next to her. Cetrum on the left side. All right. I'll walk through it again. I'm going to ult with Dolores after Edril because Edril's got a passive where she does extra damage when someone else ults around her. So you hit Edril first and then wait until Edril's attacking the target that you want her to attack before you hit Dolores' ult. Laura out there. Brokir's down to tank. Brokir, obviously an awesome, awesome tank, but you don't need Brokir to do this job if you're tanking the mobs. Uh, Olag also works really, really, really well, but you can do it with most tanks. I wasn't paying attention to ult timing there. I missed it. That's all right. We'll get it on the next one. And this will be it. Boss is down much quicker this time. Alora takes out the right side. Bam. 319. Done. Now you can farm that endgame gear, Nick. Fantastic. Happy for you. 
19 to 20 is a pretty big jump though. So I'm not going to attempt that, but you can farm 319 for a long time uh, very, very effectively and get yourself to a point where you can farm all of the stage 21s just from 319. So that is a big deal. All right. So for 219 storyline, Nick, let's see here. Is this done? Nightmare. There's A1 Volca. I don't know how I didn't see her earlier. Maybe that was on a different account. I don't know. I'm getting these mixed up. All right, 219. There we go. All right, let's see what we can do here. We have Boreas. Boreas can single-handedly take out 219. So what I want to do, and we've got Elder as a Lord. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. We'll keep Raiden for the Lord bonus for Boreas. We'll get rid of you. We'll get rid of you. Now what I want is I want a Volca strat. So I want Volca, and I want Decimus. There we go. Decimus needs to be skilled because Decimus right here, his passive, no, right here. When HP drops to zero, he stays alive for eight seconds. He's got a built-in unyielding effect, so he is money for gear raid two. So Volca is Volca, A1 Volca, reduces respawn time, if you haven't seen this before, so that we can cycle through tanks. I need at least two tanks with unyielding. I have uh, Decimus and I have Brokir. Let's see what else we can do. Let's get Dolores on there to boost Boreas and see if we can get another tank on the board. Baron, perfect. Okay, now I want my best DPS gear on Boreas. That's either going to be Alora or Cetrum, depending on... Let's see here. There we go. Yeah, how I built Alora. So, Nick, when you're watching this, right, I built Alora to beat 319, but now I just took the gear off of her, right? So you'll need to re-gear her, but now that you can do Power of Dominance, you get an extra 30% stat boost. You don't need this exact set. You can gear the entire team with much less gear, right? I'm sure you know that, but just for anyone watching this, right, that's an easy adjustment right there. We want our best DPS gear on him. Artifact. Restores Rage after using a skill. That's awesome. And crit hit increases crit damage. Yeah, I'm going to do this one because uh, Boreas isn't going to be on the board long enough to cycle through ults multiple times. So I just want some extra damage. I'll leave your, your resources there. Is he skilled? And he's max skilled. Perfect. Okay. Okay. The only thing that might be an issue here is Vortex, HP, HP, HP. Okay, he'll be good. And then the other one that we want is we want Dolores. Normally, Keen Wisdom is great for her, most situations. I actually want her in Tumultuous Horn, but you don't have one. That's okay. That's okay. We might not be able to use her. We'll see. We'll see. 319, 219, excuse me. We want her in Tumultuous Horn so that I can drop her, use her ult, make Boreas stronger, obviously, with inspiration, and then he can just destroy everything. So we'll place Boreas down first. He should be able to take care of these guys by himself. Oh, maybe not. Eh, not quite. Let's slow it down. He'll do it now. There we go. Fiddling with timing. I missed it just by just a second. That's all right. We pick it back up. So we're going to put Decimus down first. We wait until after the Shriek. And then we wait until after the second Smash. And then for the third one, we wait until the screen lights up so that the third one is done. We want Decimus to get hit at the last second so that his passive has enough time to proc long enough to take a hit from this second guy right here. 
So we wait until he hits and we see the health drop. There we go. And then we'll get someone on the board. Need someone to block both of them. And now we need Boreas. And we'll see if we have time for Dolores. I don't think so. Yeah, no. She won't have time to regen that much rage, I don't think. Not, certainly not optimally. That's okay. We do have a strong Boreas and we have a Lord bonus. So even if she just pops it for a couple seconds, there we go, before his, his big AOE work. Bam, he is so strong. I love it. Unfortunately, he's getting a nerf. I need to do a video to talk about that. Boreas is getting nerfed hard. Oh, I have mixed feelings. I have so many mixed feelings. We'll discuss that later, though. All right, wait until after the Shriek. Now, this one, we need two champs with unyielding, and we just place them after the Shriek. It doesn't matter who they are. Same thing though, they're gonna survive through this second hit and then we pull them and then we'll place someone else. There we go. When they run into you, they lose a bunch of health, so. Oh, Elder died. He must not be built. Oh, Brace. Brace was up and I missed it. We'll place people because I think I mistimed when Brace could have been dropped. I think he could have gone down earlier and I missed it. He is so strong though. There we go. It doesn't even, oh my gosh. Disgusting. I didn't even get to use Dolores there. Brace is so strong. I might be able to do 220. I might be able to. Oh no, pull back, go back. Oh. <laughs> I didn't pull Boreas, what happened? All right, all right. One, two, after the second smash. We drop him. We take the second hit. That's okay, we'll still get this done because I don't need Boreas as quickly this time. Let him go. Let him go. We need two people to tank. I missed. <laughs> I tried to grab Elder and I missed it. Oh my gosh. Embarrassing. That's all right. That's all right. We know what we're doing. pull him. Ideally, when you're doing that, that last uh, phase at the very end, you want to have your person uh, who takes the second hit from the ramming monsters from these guys, you want it to be a strong tank that can survive so that then they can um, tank the boss when the boss comes down until they Hulk, until the boss Hulk smashes everything to give you time to uh, respawn everyone else. So Decimus, we wait until after the second smash, after the third smash, we see the light of the third smash. They run into each other. We get Boreas down to do damage. We get someone to tank these last two hits. We want to make sure we put Vortex first because these monsters that throw rocks, they target the first platform hero that you place. So that's why we place Vortex first instead of Boreas. There we go. A 
second round, we just need unyielding champs, and it doesn't matter. Um, they just get placed after the Shriek. There we go. We want to make sure they're moving. We want to make sure they're both moving before we place our 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 ground unit, whether it's a defender or uh, a fighter. Otherwise, they'll just hit you and kill you, and they won't die themselves from running into you. There we go. That was quick. Let's take our defenders off the board. Let's take everyone off the board. There we go. Now this one, this is the one that I was talking about, that you want whoever takes the second hit on this left side, you want that to be a strong tank so that they can survive the second hit and then and then stay there to tank the boss first. So we wait until, still needs to be two unyielding champs. After that second smash, we place them both. And then once they run into each other, and they lose three quarters of their health. There we go, done, done. I don't have a strong tank that's able to survive over here, but I do have enough cost and enough time for one to come up before the boss gets there. So it'll work anyways. Let's place Volka, she'll die. Let's place Elder, he'll die. And then I get my tank on the board. So we get Decimus down. We'll speed it up a little bit. Decimus is going to die. Boss is going to Hulk smash everything. And then we get a stronger tank that will actually survive. And we get our DPS down to finish the job. Speed it up. And that's it. 319 is done. So we got... 219 and 319 done. And Brace is so strong. I might want to just see if I can do 220 right now before he gets nerfed, just to knock it out. There we go, 219. And Brace, and since you have Brace, I can probably do 119 also. Let's see. Let's see if we can do 220. I'll try this one time just in case. I won't fiddle with it, and then we'll move on to the next stuff. All right, Bray is down first. Let's get a tank down. There we go. Now I'm going to place Decimus down, but I need to time this one. Second smash. Now for the third one, I wait until I see the flash to know that it's over so that he just gets hit by the rock guy. There we go. I can speed it up just to catch him. He hits. He's gone. First platform is your healer. Vortex is perfect for this. There we go. Now I can just pull him. I won't need him <clears throat> because Berets is just going to kill everything. Ult. 
Alt, and everything's dead. There we go. Pick it up. Now this one, as long as the shriek is over, I can place my unyielding champs. Wait until they get hit. Pull. Make sure both enemies are moving before you place your tank. That way they'll actually take the damage. Let's start healing my tanks. Let's get our DPS on the board. And now that 219 is done, you can start farming invigoration sets, which again make a huge difference. A huge difference in the capability of your account and what you can press. Getting that extra attack for everyone. Let's get Boreas going off. I don't think, yeah, this one I won't have time for Dolores. go everyone pick it up okay I need to wait for the shriek on this one or the slam after the second slam I place you got to place them in that top spot not the bottom spot otherwise there won't be enough time for the second rock monster to hit when they hit Ready, we pull them, perfect. Place someone down to tank the second hit. There we go. And now same thing, I need a tank. I need someone to come up, it's so close. There we go. Pick it up, boss will Hulk smash everything. And then I place a real tank after the red, after he goes red. And he comes back to normal blue. That's when I place my tank. There we go. Let's pick it up. 220, done. Might even be able to do 21. And if, and I'll try one time, just like I did with, I just like I tried once with 20. And if I can do it, that would be awesome. Especially with Boreas getting nerfed. If you have Boreas on your account, use him right now. Build him up, clear everything you can with him. He is so strong and he's getting nerfed into the ground, all right? He's still gonna be good after the nerf, but nothing like he is now. Okay, 221, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Three nine seven out of seven three seven. Nice. Whoops, that's not what I want. How did I? I didn't mean to press that. Fight anyway. I don't want to go level people up. I've got a team. I've got a team. Brace on the board first. I don't think Dolores actually ults here. I think that was the wrong call. It was. Pay attention, Jake. Boreas, and then a tank. And then ult. All right, we're on two times speed. All right, they're a little bit stronger now. They're surviving Boreas. Decimus is up first. After we see the light from the third strike. Come on. There it is. Let's pick it up. Second dude comes, damages himself. 
kamikaze style. Once he hits and loses health, then we pull. Perfect. First platform tile is Vortex. Boreas. There we go. We can use Dolores for this round, so we're going to. You can do Dolores for all of them if you have Tumultuous Horn. There we go. All right, now. There we go. All right. There we go. We can do this. We can get 21 done. It'll be his first 21. Now we get our unyielding champs down after the shriek. Once they hit, we pull. We let them get moving before we tank. Who am I missing here? Hmm. That was... I played that one wrong. That's alright. Alright, let's see. This one's going to be closer. This one's going to be closer. Oh, Vortex is going down. There we go. I need another big hit from Boreas. There we go. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh no, so close. We could probably fiddle with that timing. I bet. I. Oh, I know I messed that timing up. I'm going to do it one more time. I know I said I would only do it once, but I know I messed that up. All right. I'll just speed through this one. So close. All right. Come on. After the third smash, let's get it down. Pick it up. Mm, that's what I did, what I didn't do last time. I was like, man, what was it? It was right here. I can just pull Olag right away. That's what I didn't do last time. Figured it out. Figured it out. Alt, alt. There we go. Got him done. Next round. There we go. After the shriek, we place our unyielding. Slow it down. Make sure we can pull them right afterwards. All right. There we go. And now we have Brooke here and Olag down, both alive for this round. But we still don't have a 
Boreas. Boreas took a second there, though. That's all right. Oh, I didn't pull Vortex that time. Nope, didn't quite get it. Okay, I would need Boreas a little bit stronger. I'm not going to mess with that. That way he can kill the second wave faster. I'm not going to do that. We did 220. That was good. That was good progress. All right, now if we can get 119 done so that we can get all of the endgame gear sets, and I think we can because we have Boreas. So let's go to 119. There we go. We have... Good, 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 good. I'm going to get rid of you guys. And I'm going to add in Laurel and Volca. Oh, Laurel. Laurel needs to be promoted. That's right. I forgot about that. All right. Volk is going to be less useful here. Let's see who we have. Let's see who else we have. Um, I bet I can just do it with this team. Hmm, but since I have them, I might as well throw some DPS on there. I don't want, let's take Morgan off there and I will give DPS boost to Cetrum. I'll see if I can nuke the boss with him. I'll see if I can nuke the boss. And then we'll just get, doesn't Novris, give attack somewhere, somehow, that I don't remember. Crit rate, crit damage. I don't know. Alright, let's just throw Valkyrie on there for some extra DPS. Hmm. I took most of her stuff off. Let's put him back on. Okay. Not having Laurel is uh, suboptimal here, but stage 19 isn't bad. Stage 19 isn't bad at all. So I'm actually going to get... I'm going to put Cetrum facing north there, see if he can nuke the boss down. Does not do nearly as much damage. There we go. There we go. All right. So I completely mistimed that, but that's okay. We're testing stuff out. I probably should have brought Laurel, even though I don't have Volca. We'll see. This is just the first run. Just the first run. And 
Well, hit the boss. Mm, didn't get the boss as much as I wanted. All right. Don't have Lysir's ult up, that's okay. We'll let that go down. We'll save it for the next one with the big guys. This is where we'll use Lasir. This is where Laurel would have been really nice for this last wave to get um, for Dolores and Boreas to get a second round of their ults here. We're not going to be able to stop this heal. We'll be able to stop the next one, though, with Lysir. That's OK. Boreas is so strong, we might be able to do this anyways. All right, if we can get another Boreas ult. There we go. I think we're going to get this. There we go. Yeah, so definitely not optimal, but 319, or 119, excuse me, this is basically in the books. There we go. All right. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Let's let that heal spot go away. There we go. We'll save Lasir's ult for the next, for this one. Mari is dropping physical and magic resistance. Laurel would have been great here. That's all right. Let's see how much health is he going to recover from this. He's it. Oh, he doesn't even do it on himself once he's the only one left. Perfect. Perfect. Less, even less of a concern. There we go. And we are done. <sighs> Man. 119, 219, 319, and 220, all in the books. Nick, you can farm all of your endgame gear to your heart's content. Man, that is awesome. That is that is big. That is big, big, big for your account, breaking into the stage 19s. Super happy for you, brother. Um, now, the original reason that I was here was to check out a gear cleanse. <laughs> so let's check that out. Let's check. Come on, all the pop-ups, man. All right, gear. So we have, so we're full up on gear. We want, uh, let's sell. The first thing I want to do actually is unequip folks that we're not using. So I'm going to unequip 
basically everyone that I didn't use in those teams. Hmm. How do I want to start actually? Yeah. Yeah, let's unequip our epics. So we want to sell all of our purple gear. We want to sell all of our yellow gear. Oh, whoops. I wanted him to stay there. Let's just do that. Crit rate. <laughs> Quick equip built Olag with a crit rate. What the heck? Oh, man. Whoops. I want unequip. There we go. Yeah, so this is the easiest thing to start with because your gear count, it counts the stuff that you have equipped on your champs. So he's got a ton of yellow gear here. And I know I talked to him about getting rid of all of his yellow gear. So yeah, all of this stuff that he has equipped has probably had equipped for a very, very long time and hasn't even thought about it, right? That's the first place to start. All of your old champs that you probably just quick equipped everyone, you can get rid of all of this yellow stuff. Tons of it. See, almost everyone. I'm, I'm going to start there. Honestly, I think I'm just going to call that for the video. This video has been super long. Um, what I'm going to do, Nick, is I'm going to unequip all of your epic champs. I'm going to sell all of your yellows. It looks like that'll get you a full, like, 100 spots of gear, okay? And then you and I will talk about doing a little bit more in-depth uh, gear cleanse once this is done. Because that'll help you a lot. This is, this is tons of space that's going to get you. And now that you can farm stage 19s, this will be a great first step in the right direction. And we can talk about a more in-depth gear cleanse. Awesome. So uh, that was a heck of a video. We did a lot. I appreciate your time so much. Uh, if you're looking for a takeover, hit me up. You can message me in the comments. You can message me on Discord. Join the server. It'll be in the description below. Thank you so much for your time. I will see you in the next one.